Hello my fellow trucketeers, you catch me out in the middle of the Dorset countryside and uh, yeah obviously a lot of you know about my Audi dying so um, I did put a post out about me bringing home a new toy so uh, well, let's just get into it, let's show you my uh, my brand new little toy I bought there we go, it's a Mazda MX-5 2005 Mark 2.5 and this is a cracking little thing to drive it is the quintessential small sports car. Lightweight, 50-50 weight distribution, rear wheel drive. A buzzy little 1.8 litre twin cam engine, revs up to 7,000 RPM, 16 valve, lovely. Cable driven too. That there, it's a limited slip differential. Yeah, so this is my new little toy. It's lovely, love it. It's a great little drive, so tight, so, uh, so rewarding to drive, such a nice little car. It's got a nice, short, snappy little gear change. Usually described as probably one of the best gear changes in the car, motor, car, car motoring history. Yes. It's got a few little issues, so I'll show you them. Stuff I'm not really too worried about. So, it's got a tear in the lever in the front seat here. Not really too worried. It's also got a squeak on the old glove box. So yeah, here it's got a bit of a squeak, which is a bit of a pain. It just needs a new bolt in down the bottom there, so we'll do that at some point soon. Um, the roof works perfectly fine. Everything works perfectly fine. It's got scuff on the bumper there. Scuff on the bumper there. Not too worried about that. I'll probably try and fix that at some point. The boot is not exactly the most spacious thing in the world. Let's take the camera bag out. Look. So if we lift the carpet up, space saver, spare wheel, jack and all that just stuff. So yeah, it'll probably fit a couple of shallow suitcases in there. So hopefully you enjoy it for a bit of weekend fun at some point. So yeah, it's a cracking little car. It has a whopping yeah. 73,000 miles on the clock so not too many not the wipers so yeah like I said ideally this is going to be a project of mine so I'm going to call this little series of videos tinkering around with Jono so I'm going to take you through the process of what I'm going to be doing with this car um, it's not going to be like a quick succession video so don't expect one every week it probably won't even be one every month so it's going to be when I have money to be able to do stuff on the car that you'll then see the process of me doing stuff to this car. So, like I said, eventually it will become a track toy. It will be made of a better. First thing I'm potentially going to be doing is putting an induction kit on it to make that twin cam sing. It really needs to sort of breathe a bit better. So if we look at the engine, you can see the air boxes here. Right above the exhaust manifold. That, in my eyes, is not ideal. Because it's going to be not necessarily heating up breathing in warm air but the air box is going to warm up so it's, i'm going to make a pipe that will go either behind the headlight here to breathe in cold air with a heat shield or i'm just going to reroute it out straight here so it's going to be a bit of work involved i'm going to custom make it myself that's probably going to be the first thing i do and various other bits and bobs when i get around to it the idea with this car is to use it as a learning piece as well and the plan eventually is to turbocharge it so I'm going to try and do all of it, as much, if not all of it, myself. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun little project along the way. So, yeah, it's going to be a good little car. It's going to be a good little car. As for the rust issues that these cars have, this one's been very, very well looked after. The mate that had it before me has covered all the chassis and all this waxy, oily stuff. Not wax oil, something different. And it's solid the front chassis legs are normally the first thing to go on these and they're rock solid absolutely nothing wrong with them the only thing is you did go a bit liberal with it and it is on like underneath the boot lid here there's quite a bit of it under here to clean off so i've got this this i've literally done nothing to it since picking it up last weekend so i've had it for one week today and i've literally not done a single thing to it. i've not washed it i've not done anything so it's going to have a good detail so i'll film all that Headlights are going to need a good polish, so I'll film that. Various other bits of bobs. So, yeah, that's my new car.
Shall we go for a little drive? And the little 1.8 litre burst into life. Normally I'll drive this with the windows down when I've got the roof down, but it just stops a bit of wind coming into the cab if I have the windows up, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me a bit better. So yeah, it's a lovely little car to drive. So tight, so precise, so um, pointy, you know, it, you, you point it in a direction, it'll probably, it'll most likely go that way. <laughs> Which is ideally what you want. So it's, it's, it just puts a smile on your face driving this car. Perfect car for blasting along country roads on a sunny day. It's everything you want, really. It's not the most powerful thing in the world. I mean, the Audi was 340 horsepower. This is 140. So there's a 200 horsepower deficit. But this only weighs a ton. It's, it's literally not much more over a ton. Oh, yeah, held up now. So the Audi weighed 1.7 tons, this is one ton. So the Audi needs nearly twice the power to be as quick as this. I mean, obviously it's got a lot more than that, but it's fast. It's a very, very fast car, the Audi. It's a 170 mile an hour car. And it's great fun to put your foot down and go, but there's only so much you can do before you lose your license. <laughs> so uh, this thing, you can just put your foot down the whole time and yeah, the Audi had to be careful with the speed because it just accelerates so damn quick. Whereas this thing, yeah, you can put your foot down a bit more. It's a bit more engaging to drive in a way. The Audi is a big old fat, floppy autobahn cruiser. This thing's tight, poised, and yeah, it just, yeah, it just handles so well, this little thing. The, boils down to the 50-50 weight distribution really it, it really plays a part in these cars put in here a sec picture up One other thing that's wrong with this car that I didn't say is the um, condenser for the air conditioning has got a hole in it, so uh, that needs to be replaced at some point soon. Yeah, it's uh, not really a big issue considering I've got the old panoramic roof. <laughs> now, a lot of people have called this a convertible, it's not actually a convertible, would you believe? It's a cabriolet. A convertible, the roof stows away, and this, a, cabri a cabriolet, the roof just folds back, which is what this does. It's only a manual roof. Two clips, push it back, job's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, this car just loves to be revved as well. Yeah, just keep going and going. I say, it's not the fastest car in the world, but being small and light, it just feels fast. And like I said, it's just a joy to drive. Hey, welcome to where I live. <laughs> a bit lovely, eh? So yeah, I've got a lot of big plans for this car. I'm going to take you along the way. Like I said, the videos will be far and few between. I'm going to call the series... Oh. I'm going to call the series of videos Tinkering Around With Jono. So if you see a video pop up randomly, It'll probably be called Tinkering Around with Jono. I'm going to potentially release any car videos on a Friday, potentially, or maybe a Saturday. I might do them on the Saturday, release them on the Saturday. 
So any car videos I do will be called Tinkering Around with Jono. And yeah, you'll see them on a Saturday at some point. Probably about midday. Anyway, obviously you're expecting want to know what's going on with the Audi. At the moment, nothing. Uh, I am in talks with someone about them having the car for a year to two years to fix the issue because I think one of the hydraulic tensioners has packed in so obviously it didn't put any tension on the cam chain and it skipped a, a tooth on the cam chain so now the timing's out so I haven't started it since that day I drove to work because I think if I do it could potentially skip another tooth and then it will destroy all the valves and yeah it'll be a hell of a mess because <laughs> it's a tolerance engine that this is the engine in this is non-tolerant, so if the cam belt snaps, the valves ain't going to smash the pistons. So, he will still be able to uh, bring it back from the dead, as they say. So, yeah. So, yeah, the Audi's going to be... I mean, like I said, I'm in talks with someone. Nothing's written down, nothing, nothing's signed for yet. So, they're going to potentially have the car for a year or two years, do some work on it. And then I'll pay him back for the price of the goods price of the parts and what he wants to charge me for labour etc so we'll see what happens with that I know a lot of people will take the mickey out of these saying oh it's a hairdresser's car or it's a girl's car but at the end of the day I really don't care it's about the drive and this is very much a driver's car in my eyes you, you don't get a much better drive than a little lightweight rear wheel drive front engine sports car it's not the most powerful thing in the world, but it doesn't need to be. It will be made more powerful at some point, but that's just when money is available for me to do so. <laughs> yeah, big plans. Been looking at a lot of parts. I don't have the money for anything. I'm going to try and do as much as I can on the car. So that's the plan anyway. kit would be the first thing I'll do. I think the next thing I'll be doing after that will be upgrading the brakes on this. Uh, discs and pads probably. Because I had a bit of a fruitful drive home from work yesterday. It wasn't like majorly fast or anything. They hit the brakes a few times and they started smoking so <laughs> the pads are no good on this at the moment. They're only basic street pads. So I, I don't treat my cars nicely, we'll say that. <laughs> but um yeah, it will definitely need some upgraded brake pads on it because by the time I got home, I stopped to uh, so I had to let a car out so I could get into where my driveway was. And when I did that, <laughs> I just to see smoke coming up from both sides of the front of the car where I've been on the brakes a bit hard. But, um, yeah, other than that, it's a brilliant little car. So yeah, it's gonna have a few little tweaks here, there, and everywhere. It's gonna be made. It's gonna be made better some people's eyes so predominantly at the moment it's going to be an everyday car if and when I get the Audi back or if I get another car then this will then become a road legal track day car so it'll be a lot firmer stickier tires bigger brakes eventually a turbo if I can do that so these things take to turbocharging very very well you don't have to change the compression on them because like I said, they're a non-tolerance engine, so with the compression they got in them, they cope with turbocharging pretty well. So yeah, we, we got many, many plans, and we got all the time in the world to do them. So, like I said, don't expect videos every week or every month. They'll come out as and when. Far and few between, we'll say. 
so yeah it might even be a year before you see another update video on it but it all depends how things go in my busy life with work and everything so I only have like I've got stuff to do on the house I've got work which I'm away a week with anyway so any work that happens on the car will be not very often so anyway I'm going to stop rabbiting on I hope you like the car because I bloody love it if you don't like it then I don't really care so <laughs> you know we all have our own opinions on things that's fine but I urge anyone that hasn't driven one of these have a go in it they are a brilliant little car and they are dead cheap £2,500 this cost me for a very very solid model with very very few things wrong with it so yeah fantastic little car I can't wait to get started with it really to be fair so yeah, we'll leave this little video here and I'll see you when I do another one. See you soon.